Okay, here's a question for you, or rather, this is a question for me from you. Many of you, actually, sending questions in. And this is a common one. And the question goes something like this. Should I ever buy broken, damaged, or repaired pottery or porcelain? Well, my answer to that, you might be surprised, is absolutely you should. And the reasons for that will, I think, make sense. But if you watch the TV and TV shows, and the ones that I'm involved with as well, I love the shows I make for the BBC, Bargain Hunt, Antiques Road Trip, Flog It, all of those shows. Most people, my colleagues on these shows, and I love them as well, will always say avoid damaged, broken, repaired pottery and porcelain because the market doesn't want it, collectors don't want it, avoid it at all costs. Well, I've been making these TV shows for 18 years. Prior to that, I did radio antique phone-ins for four years. And I have never said ever you should never buy broken, repaired or damaged pottery or porcelain. And if you can find any clip whatsoever where I've ever said that, I will send you this wherever you are in the world because I've never said it. And I think I'm the only person on TV who actively says you should go out and buy broken, damaged and repaired pieces of antique pottery and porcelain for these following reasons. Take a look at this Chinese vase. It's Qing Dynasty. Now, the great Qing Dynasty dates from 1644 to 1912. I know that it's not rocket science. It's a lovely big vase. This was made in the later part of the Qing Dynasty, so about 1890, 1900, made for the Western market. There's no doubt about it. You've got a classic, which way around is it? That way around. Classic Chinese six character mark on the base, which is what the Western market loved because they were buying something exotic from the Far East, just like we do now. We've always had a fascination with the Far East. And if I turn it back again, you can actually see evidence there. Look at that. A whacking great big crack and a dreadful repair. How awful, how horrible, keep away. It's got the lurgy, not at all. Let me ask you this question. First of all, do you like the vase? Do you think it's, a, it's, an, it's an appealing thing? It's attractive? Well, hopefully you think yes. I mean, even if you don't want it in your house, you might appreciate it for what it is. It's a proper antique, it's hand painted. Well, if you look closely, and you saw my video recently about how to tell the difference between something that's hand painted and transfer printed, you'll know that it is absolutely hand painted. But so the question to you is this, is it ugly? Is it awful? The fact that it's been repaired, not particularly very well, but very obviously repaired, does it make it totally undesirable? And the answer is no, it's still beautiful. It's still really appealing. And even more than it being beautiful, it is now remarkable value for money because most people have been telling you for donkey's years, don't buy broken, damaged pieces. I never have, and I always have bought them because you can buy them at a fraction of their price if they were in mint condition. So in this case, I don't know, what would it be worth if it was absolutely pristine? Three to 500 pounds. Let's say that would be a fair valuation. What do you think I paid for it? Well, I'm gonna tell you in a minute, but let me know if you've got anywhere near this. It owes me 70 pounds, 70 pounds, 70 pounds. Well under 100 pounds for something that might cost me 500 pounds if it was in mint condition. But I still think it's beautiful. It, it tells a tale. It's been damaged and repaired. Somebody has loved it enough to repair it. And whether you're buying and selling to make money in this business, or you're just buying for yourself, let me advise you, take a tip from me. Buy really good pieces that have been damaged and repaired in the past because one, you're going to save loads of money. Two, 
it's still going to be beautiful. Three, if you want to buy and sell it, there is always a market out there, just like me. There are people out there who will buy damaged pieces. And when I used to do lots of antique fairs all around the UK, really posh, expensive fairs as well, I would often sell real top-end pieces that had been repaired for a fraction of their value had they been in mint condition. And I always found a market for it. A market where people really appreciate the fact that they're saving a fortune, but still buying something beautiful. So if you want to buy and sell, there is still that market. And the final reason why you should buy broken, damaged, repaired, antique pottery and porcelain, whether it be Chinese, English or American or whatever, continental, is that you can use these things for very little money as learning devices. Things that we would refer to as touch pieces, literally that. You can touch them, you can examine them, you can feel the ribs on the body. Because the way this body is made, it is made in ribs. It goes up in little ridges and you can feel it. And you learn from these things. So you watch videos on YouTube, you read books, you handle, you touch the item. You get to feel it, you get to weigh it, and your eyes begin to understand the colors and the variations in the pattern and all of that. It's a touch piece. And for 70 quid, it is so worthwhile just for the knowledge that this vase will give you. It's remarkable. So to answer all of the questions that have been pouring in recently, should I ever buy broken, damaged or repaired antique pottery and porcelain? I say absolutely yes, because they're still beautiful. Thanks for watching. I'm David Harper. Cheerio.